man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Most exciting man in boxing. Man in boxing, led the flare cops. Shout out to good fella sports TV. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfella from Sports TV. Bomb squad, baby. All right, so uh, new rumor on the street is that uh, PBC want. Floyd, I mean, want uh, Floyd to get Terrence Crawford on the money team. Let's talk about it. Check out the box from the playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. The bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop the video. And that sound about right. You know what I'm saying? That do sound about right that they want to get him over to Mayweather Promotions. Now, uh, somebody sent me some intel yesterday. I'm going to leave names out of there. Uh, hold on. I'm going to leave names out of there, but uh, somebody said it was really good information. Said that uh, Mayweather wants to sign Crawford to make the Spence fight that way. Um, Mayweather also tried to sign Crawford the first time he was a free agent to get him the Thurman fight. Uh, Blase Blas said Bob made him stay at 140 to be an undisputed instead of moving up. So, yeah, I mean, I know I didn't know about the whole Floyd tried to sign him before when he was free, but I know for a fact that. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, I mean her cooking, but I know for a fact that uh, that uh, that Bob did make him stay at one forty. He wanted to jump up to forty seven, and he would have been in the same position. But like I said before, people say why he stay, you know. Well, you mean at the end of the day, y'all got to remember too, bro. That uh, y'all got to remember too that uh. That it ain't easy getting out of Bob Aram contracts, <laughs> just straight up and down. You know, and Crawford, you know, wasted a lot of time, you know, with uh, Matter Off Sports, too. So it ain't easy getting out them damn contracts, bro. But, um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, why would I want to sign the Mayweather promotions? What is he going to do for me? I, so I just get the fight, then what? You know, you see the relationship that he got with, uh, with Javante Tank Davis, where Davis, you know, uh, want to spar him and uh, all this, that, and the third, and you know what I'm saying how he treat his fighters and some of the other stuff that y'all may not know about that I'm not gonna reveal. Um, so why going on over there? You know why everybody over there trying to flee? You know what I'm saying why would Crawford walk over there to make the fight? And you are gonna end up you are gonna end up having to put a gun that Floyd Mayweather hit in a figurative, figuratively speak speaking. You know what I'm saying I just keep it that way. You know what I'm saying I got time to be you know. You know, and, he, and one thing he can do, he can give him clout. That's a fact. That's one thing he could do. He could, he could give him clout. He can give, he can give him a ton of clout. A ton of it. He can give him a ton of clout. You know, you know, co-sign him and stuff, but. Like I said before, you know, what's the what's the what's the problem here? What's the problem for him to go want to sign Mayweather? I mean, for Mayweather want to sign Terrence over Earl, it still stems to that sparring, bro. Now listen to Tom video where he said that, you know, with Floyd, you know, basically, you know, tip Earl Spence off. And you tell Earl Spence, you know, he worked with Crawford. I don't think it's we I think, man, if you go back to them sparring sessions. That's that one sparring. They spar more than once. People don't never talk about the second sparring session or the time. But I ain't here. I ain't here to talk about that. But Floyd kicked Earl Spence out the gym was the rumor. I mean, I think it's true. You know? So... This is all if this is all about getting back at Earl Spence, it wouldn't surprise me at all. And I think it's all about getting back at Earl Spence from that sparring session, but I think that's when uh I think that's when Floyd Mayweather got out of jail. And they, you know, he's smart. He said he was in solitary confinement and he was just eating Snickers or something else he said all day. 
That's when his hairline was all pushed back. People tend to forget these things. I had to show the picture last time. So that's when Floyd got out of jail, and they said he kicked Floyd. He kicked uh, Earl. The story is the rumor is he kicked Earl out the gym, and like you know, some guys in the team, Leonard and them had to. Uh, Leonard and them had to. Uh, Had to tell Floyd to cool off and allow and to allow uh, Earl to come back in the gym. He said, yeah, you know, he probably said, get up, get out of my gym. Uh -uh. Get him out. You know, he basically kicked him out the gym. And he had to convince Floyd, like, man, don't kick this young man out the gym. So, obviously, you know, Floyd probably want them, you know, he hold on to shit like he a female. And that would be his aim at Crawford. That would be his aim to get back at Spence for – for doing them dirty and, and sparring when it didn't even matter, bro. You was coming fresh out of jail. And that, that'd that be his angle. And then he also be delivering a fight to the black community. And he also be able to hype the fight up. I think the fight is bigger with Floyd in the middle of it. But then he can say, I did this. I made this fight happen. You know, I'm a part of history. I'm better than them. So that's the one thing about it, man. I didn't get in there. Start seeing all types of eyes and me and mine. You know, I mean, ain't time for that. Niggas don't want to fight that bad. Well, I got to sign over to you and a whole bunch of BS going on. And then we got to be beefing. And then, you know, I ain't got time for that from Terrence. But if you want to fight that bad, you know, they basically corner the market to say, man, make you say uncle. So do you want to team up with your oppressors? Now, Mayweather might get in there and say, you know, man, sit down. That wasn't me. I'm trying to make this joy jump. I'm trying to make this boy jump. That wasn't me. That was, you know, whoopty whooping them. But you know, I'm just here, you know, get some advice. Um, give you, you know, give you a little offer here, man. We love to have you over here, man. Uh, everything could be copacetic, everything could be good, you know. You know, take your contract to a lawyer, hash it out, see what you do or don't want. We just want to plug you into this fight. You know, work with you, you know, beyond the fight and see what we can do for you. You know. But like I said before, you know, you you know, would you sit down and believe Floyd is the question. We know for a fact Floyd don't run the day to day stuff. We know for a fact Floyd came out and said that, you know, I'm paraphrasing Al Hamas uh, uh, is, is spoiling these fighters for paydays. He did come out and say that. And he said, yeah, I had to earn it. I had to take what they gave me. So, I mean, at the end of the day, Floyd can make the fight, you know. The downside would be a whole bunch of eyes, me's, I did it, his, you know, I made it happen. But, you know, he would he would make the fight bigger. He would make the fight bigger, and it's going to sell. So the promotion going to be on cue. It's going to be on cue, bro. It's going to be on point. If you could deal with the eyes and the me's and all that type of shit, man, then, yeah. And the money straight, you make sure you know where the money going. Make sure your lawyer look over the contract. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything good. So it might make some sense. You know, is this coming from a good, you know, if it's coming for. A, you know, so I said before, you know, I don't really have an issue with it, but I do think. The deep rooted thing is still that sparring. I think a lot of people think that Sparrow's a. Uh... I think, you know. I think it all stems from Earl whooping him. Earl must have really put it on him in that sparring. Yep, and that's what I think. I think it stemmed from. He want to get that back arrow from Spar. He know what Terrence Crawford. He know you know notice he routinely said Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world. You know Earl Spencer's post is their last thoroughbred left. They last you know in the South they say stallion. He really is a stallion. He's a female horse for real. He they last stallion. The last of the last. The last of the last. You 
No, but I think it's I think it's true. Angle is bro. He don't care nothing about black boxing because he didn't fight niggas straight up and down. He didn't fight other black fighters. But I do think, I do think his angle is to get back at Earl Spence from that sparring. He got embarrassed, and there was a lot of people there that day, bro. You notice everybody got a sport story that was there that day. I know a few people that got stories. A couple dudes from Ohio had stories. Everybody got a story. I think Nate Jones, his boy, had a story. Keep going. Every everybody had a story. That was the crazy thing about it. Everybody was there. He got embarrassed. You know, I think he was embarrassed by the Paul Salvador thing, but I don't think too many people were there to witness the Paul Salvador uh, sparring. But if Floyd can get it done and, and the business is right, I don't think Crawford care about you know his all his alternative motive. If it's if it's if it's if it's what I believe it is, you know. Only thing can make it bigger is Floyd promoting it, you know. So with Floyd doing his thing in the middle of it, it's, it's gonna crack five hundred thousand for sure, easy. You know what I'm saying? But I think, I think he, I think he, I think it's some this. I mean, think it's still some this thing. I Earl win, Earl win. But he know they know they know what Crawford is, and they just trying to wait him out. You know, they just trying to wait him out. And Floyd can plug him into that fight quickly. Then you know, is what it is. There's a lot of guys who saying, you know, I'm gonna start looking at. Mark came on from he from Texas. He said, if Earl don't fight Terrence next, then you know that's when I'm I'm gonna start. You know, I'm gonna start like basically criticizing him. So you got three belts and turn around and order to keep Thurman mandatory. How y'all gonna look? Come on, let's he fight Keith in like July and then come back and fight Crawford in December. Then cool. I don't mind him fighting Keith. I don't mind him having two fights. As long as he committed to fighting Crawford, that's fine with me. You know, Floyd probably can make that happen. And if Floyd can make it happen, you know, it's like Muhammad Ali saying the movie Ali. When his wife was talking about, you know, he ain't like the people around him. He said, I got to put racist white people in a room with, 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 with janky ass black people. You know what I'm saying? He said, I got to make a deal. He basically ain't no tools or two way around it. Sometimes. Sometimes you gotta make a deal, but make sure you keep, you know, you keep your third eye on on on, on the oppressors. Real talk. Real talk. This might be the way. And my Mandalorian voice, this is the way. This might be the way. You know. But uh, this might be the way, bro. This might be the way, but uh, if he, if he can make it, man, you know, that'll kind of right a lot of wrongs and everything fair and square. And ain't no niggas complaining about money and checks, you know what I'm saying? Because you say Logan Paul said he didn't get paid. I guess he's talking about his back end money because he was on the Forbes list, he's saying he get paid. But if they can make it, they can, if he can make this, man, you know, a lot of people can't really complain about him not fighting black fighters. You can still complain about it. But he made one of the biggest, you know, black fights in this generation when they wasn't trying to make it. So if we can plug him in and the business and the money is right, bro, and everything is, is fair and square, you know what I'm saying? You know, that kind of can write, uh, them, write these wrongs. You know? How can you write these wrongs when you didn't even write this? Write your songs, push. <laughs> ah, but uh, but yeah, he can write some of his wrongs. No Floyd, old black boxing bro for just beating up on Latino guys, and he only fought Berto over a woman. And Shane, you know, Shane is Shane. Shane was coming off the biggest victory of his career versus Antonio Margarito at that point. But Oscar's the best, great, greatest victory. But this Twilight's career was Margarito. So Floyd can make the fight. Fuck it. But Floyd make this fight, and he and, and Terrence do what, what everybody think Terrence going to do, even where Earl Spence fanboys think he going to do in the back of their mind. You know, you, man, he going to be hating on Floyd, man. You know, man, I remember my grandma told me, man, I'm going to the Piggly Wiggly 7-8, man. Never trust a nigga, man, that, that, that buys the biggest person in the world, man. I knew Floyd was a cornball, man. He set Earl up, man, CC, because Earl beat him in sparring. You know, this is what it's all about. And even though Earl got Earl 
Earl, you know, even though Earl didn't look his best that fight, man, I'm proud to say Earl, you know, I'm proud to say Earl is from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, Christian notifications, comment, it all help me out. Want to financially support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Um, uh, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request on advertising the channel, all my information is in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Shout out to Box Room Playlist. One time.